In the last Premiere Pro lesson, we looked at how to add clips to your timeline to create a sequence. Once you've added them, chances are that you'll want to refine your edit further by moving clips around, trimming them, or deleting them. You may need to get a closer look at your clips, so to zoom into your timeline, press the plus sign on your keyboard. The more times you press it, the more it zooms in. To zoom out again, press the minus key on your keyboard, and you can also press this multiple times. But for now, we're going to zoom in. Let's look at what happens when you just click and drag a clip to a new location in your timeline. Instead of moving to a new position and the other clips moving out of the way, it's gone on top of another clip, which isn't what we wanted to do. You'll need to first hold the Option Command keys on your keyboard while you drag it to where you want it to go. As you drag, you'll see an outline of the clip you're moving, and you'll also see it snap or magnetize to any nearby edit points. When you get to the edit point where you want the clip to go, let go of the mouse. The snapping function is already turned on by default, but you can turn it off by clicking on the magnet icon located in the Timeline Tools panel. This can be useful if, for some reason, you want to move a clip to a point other than the edit point, like in the middle of another clip. You'll also likely want to tweak the in and out points of the clips in your sequence. This is called trimming, and you can use trimming to take away or add footage to a clip. We're going to look at how to create a basic trim. So if I want this clip to be shorter, I just hover my mouse cursor over the edit point until I see a red trim reference bracket. Click and drag away from the edit point to trim away footage. I can see where I am in my clip in the program monitor. Notice that when I do this, a gap appears in my timeline. To close the gap, right-click or control-click on a PC in the gap and choose Ripple Delete. The gap will close and all of the clips downstream of the trim will move or ripple. Using the basic trim tool only allows you to remove footage. We'll be looking at a more powerful trim tool in our intermediate lesson that does allow you to add more footage while trimming. By default, the video and audio of each clip is linked together so that they can stay in sync. But you can override this in one of two ways. You can click on the linked selection icon in the timeline toolbar to turn it off, or you can press the option key on your keyboard while you drag to isolate either the video or audio only for your trim. To delete a clip, click on it so that it's selected in the timeline, then press the delete key on your keyboard. A gap will be left where you deleted your clip. To remove the gap, right click or alt click on a PC in the gap and choose ripple delete. If you press the option key while you click delete on your keyboard or the alt key on a PC, the clip will be deleted and the gap will close, saving you the extra step.